Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we will present a 5 facts about Edward Elgar. 1. Pomp and Circumstance Marches Edward Elgar is perhaps best known for composing the Pomp and Circumstance Marches, specifically the first march. It gained widespread popularity when the tune was paired with the lyrics of Land of Hope and Glory and became a staple at graduation ceremonies in the United Kingdom. The piece's grandeur and uplifting melody have made it an enduring celebratory anthem. 2. Enigma Variations Elgar's Enigma Variations is a captivating composition that consists of a series of musical portraits of his friends and loved ones. The enigma lies in a hidden theme that is woven throughout the variations, a musical puzzle that Elgar never fully explained. The piece's mystique and the speculation surrounding the secret theme have fascinated music enthusiasts for years. 3. Cycling Enthusiast Elgar had a passion for cycling, which was quite unusual for a composer of his time. He often found inspiration for his compositions during his cycling outings in the picturesque countryside of Worcestershire. His love for cycling is reflected in his letters and even in the nickname he gave to his bicycle, which he called Mr. Phoebus. 4. Self-Taught Composer Elgar was largely self-taught as a composer. Despite receiving only limited formal musical education, his talent and dedication led him to become one of England's most celebrated composers. His determination to learn and experiment with different musical styles and techniques played a significant role in shaping his unique and innovative sound. 5. Nimrod Tribute In the Enigma Variations, Elgar composed the ninth variation, titled Nimrod, as a tribute to his close friend Augustus J. Yeager, who supported and encouraged Elgar during times of self-doubt. The variation's solemn and moving melody has touched the hearts of many listeners and has been performed at numerous solemn occasions, including memorial services and national events. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.